All right, everybody, welcome back to Resistance of Tyranny. Let's see here. Um, Wait a second, I'm just pulling up the article. Uh, CNC, CNBC revealed Friday that no less than 50 state attorney generals have been investigating Google's business practices as part of the months long probe alongside a parallel Department of Justice effort, and moment, uh, momentum is gaining toward a looming major interest lawsuit against the uh, tech giant Google, which is involved in all sorts of horrible, horrible stuff. <clears throat> President Trump has lately put big tech in the spotlight over allegations of targeted censorship of conservative content. Obviously, it's happened on this channel as well. Trump's tweets have been being censored, just horrible, complete election meddling. Uh, signing an executive order which seeks to reduce liability protections of major internet camp, uh, companies like Twitter, Facebook, and Google, and, and hopefully YouTube too. And I mentioned this, I explained this, how he's taken away that shield protection. Uh, if they're liable, if they get a lawsuit or anything. So he's taken that away because the federal government was giving them some type of protection. Independent and alternative voices have also long uh, complained of being demonetized or unfairly targeted for analysis and uh, commentary falling outside the accepted groupthink. Exactly here, the community guidelines. <coughs> Mine was taken down for hate speech of community guidelines. The video was titled, The Death of George Floyd is a Hoax. That video started rising in a lot of views. Um, but what is the group think? I mean, who is this community we're talking about? Uh, there is no community. It is uh, the people at the top controlling it, uh, what they believe. Moving on from that, we also have uh, Republican Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York <coughs> threw a support behind a mov movement that would defund the New York Police Department in the wake of the death of George Floyd, the uh, vicious, uh, violent felon who was a porn star and served <coughs> years in uh, prison, abandoned his son, and all sorts of bad things, uh, and he was killed by the cop. He was trying to do this technique, and he had um, meth in his system and all that type of stuff, underlying conditions, so uh, I think the death was an accident. But like I mentioned, there was more to that story. There was some kind of fishy things that happened there. Uh, I think it was some type of organized crime. And just based off the syringe that was seen, <coughs> some of the footage from the other camera across the uh, street, and just all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, she said in a congressional primary debate Friday night, on New York one that she had, uh, quote, actively engaged in an advocacy for a reduction of our NYPD budget and defunding a $6 billion NYPD budget that cost us uh, books in the hands of our children and cost us very badly needed investment in NYCHA, uh, New York City Housing Authority and Public Housing. Obviously kind of uh, structured points <clears throat> because I'm not for a militarized police force uh, because you don't need militarized police when you're facing civilians. Uh, you need equal level that protects you from anything that that protects good people from bad people who are using the tools that civilians all civilians have for evil. It's a fair uh, playing field. <coughs> Obviously, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight, um, <clears throat> or you don't bring. I mean, obviously, overkill is at war, but when you're talking about your own citizens. Um, but when it comes to Antifa and things like that, that are mainly, they're not foreign, but they're funded by foreign interests and George Soros. And <coughs> I think it's kind of a happy medium you have to find. And it's, it's kind of a difficult subject, but I don't think that there needs to be militarization. I think obviously we need SWAT units, <coughs> but that's basically it. And then obviously as uh, normal police, all this, these riots are going to do is increase this budget. It's not going to shut it down. It's going to do the exact opposite. And we're going to be living under more control. And then the next presidency, whoever gets elected, if it's Joe Biden or Hillary Clinton, <clears throat> which is the plan, Joe Biden's going to step down as uh, Hillary's, uh, his VP, and then give her the presidency to carry out Satan's work. She'll have access to all that militarized police to then um, bring in complete martial law and a police state among everybody. And so... We just have to be careful how we treat it because we are in a democracy where we have different, uh, <clears throat> different um, administrations. Sorry, I forgot the word. So we always have to be looking one step ahead. 
I think the police are fine where they are now. Um, I think it could be toned back even quite a bit. Since 9-11, it got so <coughs> so much more. Keep basic SWAT units. Uh, police cars stay the same. Police weapons stay the same. I don't think you need to have uh, a lot a lot more than that. But anything that civilians have access to, I think the police should have. And I don't think it should be any more or less. That's all for today. See you tomorrow.